Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Last time we had a really long episode. Nope, we had a really short episode because we had a really long off-screen time. I like the little bags painted with sevens. The Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Rand Greece. I thought we were chasing them. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin. We should look. The enemy could be I'm glad that Largo is gradually right. like graduating from his racism. You know? Just two, though. The timer to being dead starts no in 120 choice. seconds. Well Everybody take cover. Come on, Isara. Now. Right. This is unusual. I don't know where this is going. I assume it's going to be like a level where we don't have our guys. And then likely, you know. Where? Some Welkin ex Alicia. Uh, uh, Welkin? Oh, good. You're awake. Where are we? Is everyone all right? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. I guess being next to a tank makes you a pretty big target, right? Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's kind of interesting that Welkin a was a scout and then became a tank here. commander. And, we like, I know that it's just... Tank, tank commander is just the protagonist class. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you, think you know, you can walk? a la Fire Emblem. I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But it's interesting because I don't think there's any other, like... Hello? Should I have sound? All right, I don't know what that was. Just randomly had my uh, thing disconnect, which is supposed to be where this game is stored. Alicia, here's a map of the area. It looks like they've got us surrounded. So it looks like Wilkins going back to being a scout, which is why I brought up that he was originally a scout. Presumably they like each other so we can get a bonus from stock. Reach the destination up north to escape the perimeter. More limited visibility than you're accustomed to. No sight lines. And you can't see them in action mode. Hmm. You have no orders because you don't have the wireless communication. But it's just me and her. Can't I just yell at her? Nobody can die. All right. Yeah, I somehow suspected that this was going to happen. Lack of light means okay, we heard about this, Wilkin. Is your ankle going to make it? Sorry. That's all oh, and she's also having a... <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, man, I can't wait. My turn, okay? I can't wait to have to, like, to die and have to redo this. Oh, really? This is gonna suck. Alright. My turn, okay? Let's see if we can't get her through this. Enemy unit spotted. And the defense just keeps on going down. 
so there was a um a uh, optional level that I played that was similar to this. Okay, and Welkin has what appears to be normal movement. She took ship, da ship damage, so I'm just gonna Thank hit her with that. It's a luciferant. It's luciferant. The same sort of thing as a fire. Like lucifer and ant. Hey, wait! The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck. All right. I'm in cover and he isn't, so hopefully we'll be able to sneak through. Also, Alicia won't get killed because she's on the edge of the uh, blast. Those silenced rifles? Because I'm hearing the little thwip. You know, silenced pistols don't actually get that quiet. They had to change the name to suppressors because people were like, it's not silent. And like, you know, people shouldn't be buying silenced weaponry to begin with, but also they should get what they pay for. So they changed the name to suppressor. You can make a silenced pistol, but you have to build it from the ground up to be silenced. And then I think the only like noise that it makes is just... I think the, o the only noise that it makes is just the click of uh, the thing going. My turn, okay. Wait, Alicia's gotta catch up. I feel like it's a little transparent with how they were like, oh, pyre, or what are, they, what are these called? Luciferants? They're identical to fireflies, except they feed on manure, because we didn't want to look up what fireflies actually feed on. Here we go. Oh, that's a mine. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? Sir. They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see the Not high on my list of good things. So where's this thing's path? Okay. It looks like it's safe next to the tower. Everyone knows that searchlights only illuminate about three feet. Gotta love nature. Nice. Hey, that's another one of the things. Oh, welcome can keep going, too. Don't step in the mines. Damn, I was kind of hoping that he could uh, get ahead there. Moving out. I think our next phase is just going to be spending everything on Alicia to just catch her up to Welkin. Because she's been going two a time. Um, and I think that's probably the intended method. Because, like, there's only so so far that she can even go. Luckily, almost everyone is dead. Man. The early, the early portion of this game is actually pretty interesting. With how, like, you have everyone that you're playing as is a scout. And it's like... You're just moving these little pieces against each other, like pawns against pawns, and like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. Um, and then they hit you with the, uh, uh... 
then they hit you with stuff like um, the shock troopers. And like, dude, the way that shock troopers show up, like they feel like a boss. Like where you have like five guys all plinking at one shock trooper and like they'll just sweep through you with like one spray of machine gun fire in one round. And you just have to deal like... Like, okay. getting, a, getting a hold of shock troopers of your own is, like, a type of power that I, I don't even recognize, you know? Like, you get so much stronger so quickly that, like, you wouldn't even know, you know? You'd be like, damn. Okay. I'm going to bank this one because we're right on the edge, and I don't think it would do to have us be shelled. Especially when we've come so far. Probably be good to swing right and then try to work through that back area, maybe. Where's this chuckle fuck going? So it looks like they don't actually get a, um,. Okay, so we just got to get through that. My turn, okay? So yeah, let's break ahead and then hit right. Come on, Alicia. Okay. Foolishly, they're only looking at the path. It's very, very slow, so... Let's wait for this to pass again. Oh, man. I think she needs the full, like, bank of move. Moving out. You know, I was really hoping that that wouldn't happen. Is that it? Because that's kind of lame. But that's okay. Enemy unit spotted. Okay. Yeah, that's not so bad at all. And Welkin's almost definitely going to be able to, like, just burn through here. I wonder if you can use that for your own Enemy purposes. Sighted. It's Ty the Immortal again. Gotta love nature. Oh, two kill, 30 shots, whatever. Maybe should have moved him up some more. Moving out. We kind of got to kill him is the thing. Dude, you can't be for real. <laughs> Alicia, I so needed you to kill him. There was... Uh, dude, there have been so many cutscenes in this, and, like, the way that this game gives you saves is not really that good. Yes. No, that's bad. Yes, I know. Oh my god, that's demoralizing. Alright, I'm back. I was right. The amount of uh, okay? cutscenes that we've had so far make restarting this very painful. Now, I have only restarted once, but... Like... Man... Why can't I just... Why can't I just restart? Like... You get your game over, it's like, would you like to restart? I say yes. And then it gives me, like, the start to this. Turn, okay? And then it gives me 
the first cutscene where they're like, oh man, we're alone and we're gonna it's gonna take forever for us to walk. Is this gonna hurt you in your cover? Yes, it will. Okay, I know she had a little bit more to go, but ready to go. Welkin's gonna catch up. Gotta love nature. I guess I don't exactly know what nature lover's doing for him right now, but now. all right, we really needed that. Yeah, that's another one of the command points. Yes. Okay. Now we just need to stay here, I guess. My turn. Yeah, she's only on the edge of this, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, um, like... I don't know why it doesn't just start you fresh from where you would already seen the cutscene, because you had already seen the cutscene. It's just annoying. Like, it's it's one of the other problems. Like, this game has some problems, obviously. But, like, we've had a lot already of just, like, I can't restart. Like, I know I'm going to lose, and the the w like what the game wants me to do is it wants me to sit through and watch a slow, agonizing 10-minute loss play out. Instead of just giving me a, you know, quit to menu, quit to title, go back to book, anything like that. Ready to go. Luckily, Wilkin can move. I thought it would be really funny if, like, We just load it in, Enemy and sight. Alicia's just, like, sprinting like she would. My turn, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, now please. I think I'm safe. Yeah, there it goes behind me. All right, I'm going to leave them kind of spaced out just because I want to make sure that, like, they don't get grenaded again. Because that was excruciating. Like, this isn't a game where a lot of things happen very quickly, you know? I mean, I guess it can be, but, like,. Really not. Like, the, the cascade of bad things happening to me last time was almost like Darkest Dungeon-esque. Where, like, it was bad, and then it just kept getting worse. Like, I was kind of in control of the situation, and then, and then I wasn't anymore, and I couldn't be in control of the situation. Ready to go. Enemy sighted. Can I shoot this guy? I guess I got a lot of that better. Oh, God. Yes, dear? Watch me on your own time. It's being recorded. You can watch it whenever. Are you winning? No. Where is hell? Thank you, dear. Well, they know my location. Um, Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. I, w I would love the ability to lay down a mine. God. I just got to nudge it. I just got to nudge the stick in the smallest 
Oh, I can hit the D-pad. Dude, are you for real? Alright, let me limp over here. I could bank these. Wait for them to advance on me. This is painful. This is like really painful. How many are there? Are there three? Because those guys are moving and presumably without like those things moving, it means they're not moving, right? Or are they? Any chance that I could, you know, they could be shelled by their own guys? Because that would help me out immensely. I guess they're like pinned down. Here we go. Uh, gotta love nature. Okay. Okay, now bally down. Like, I need to kill this guy so hard. Is that someone else seeing me? Okay, I don't think it is. Because with a scout, I can just close the distance. Bro, that's not cool. Oh, God. Well, I did some damage at least. Not good damage, but damage. It's not that bad. All right. That's not a really good heal. It is free though. Only costs one action. Painful and agonizing. And neither of us can advance on the other one, too. Maybe I should just not aim for his head and just try to get some more confirmed damage. Well, I got damage. You know, considering our health regeneration, like, permits us pretty prodigious like recovery you'd think that we could just wait like the 10 minutes that it would take for Alicia's ankle to regenerate I know it's one of those like gameplay things that doesn't really count and doesn't happen like that but man you know like she's even healing from this like she fell down a little bit and twisted her ankle and she has to slow walk this entire mission but she will also regularly be shot through the chest. And and it takes like a one turn lie down and she'll be fine. Like I don't even know how long of a lie down it's supposed to be in like game terms. Here we go. Okay. Oop. View event. Oh. This is a different cutscene. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Oh, I missed this. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. It, it, thank you. Okay. Oh, so we get a bit of her movement back, I imagine. Enemy sighted. Uphill battle. We did pretty good, though, so maybe this might be able to go into a kill confirm. Hostile sighted. I'm just going to inch up a little more. Ah. Yes. My man, Welkin. Yes. Man, so I've missed some of those, then. 
And there's more Animal Path as well. My turn, okay? Come on, pull it together. Potential maternal. Cool. That's not bad at all. Okay. Okay. I do see the fireflies and I don't have that much interest in following them. It kind of just took longer last time. Okay, so what's even going to happen? God. I would rather do this with anyone else. But yeah, they give you like a little spoiler almost. Because um, in the skirmishes that you can do, there's this thing called like scout challenge or something like that. Or like one of the scout characters is challenging you. I forget exactly what it is. The point is, is that maybe I'll explore the path with Welkin. Gotta love nature. You do. It's legally required. Helps convince people you're not a war criminal. Um. Do we just have to go touch the flag over there because? Like, if everyone's dead, this might be a primo time to go touch it. I can't imagine that they are, but it might be. Oh, good. The tree actually does provide cover. Guess I'll just snake my way over here. Huh. Where is it? Hmm. I'll, I'll move Alicia up as far as I can. And then I'll bank this last point. Oh, that's a landmine. Okay. Nudge drop a little bit. They have five now. That's fun. Oh, man. I guess the, um, I think the, oh, boy. Uh, I guess the, uh, out. debuff for sight probably is working against them as well as it is against me. Which is good. That's what you'd want. Ooh, another scene. Ah, oh, Welkin has to do it, though. That makes sense. He's the nature boy. Can't see me, Gestapo. I'm in the grass. I feel like searchlights are maybe one of the most ineffectual pieces of technology in media ever. Here we go. Like, searchlights are 100% fine in anything that isn't a movie. We both have to get here. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'll just bank it. Oh, the reason that they keep getting those is because they can't physically use them. They have no units and it keeps piling up. Or their mortar gets one per round and there's only one guy in it. Okay. Probably going to miss this. Moving out. Do they have a ship name? Welkin Leisha? Ugh, gross. Whatever. It doesn't actually matter that much. Because it takes a turn to spin up. Yeah, it does take a turn to spin up. So that means that I can just walk through all of these and trigger like trigger them 
And as long as I beat the level here, which I think I'm going to, it should be fine. All right. That wasn't that bad then. <laughs> cool. Are we going to get to do a mission without these two then? Because that'd be kind of interesting. Let's look. Right. It's too dark to cover much. Clear bonus D. Nice. I wonder what, I guess it's like speed in, in getting through it. Cause I got 10 turns and right next to it is the D rank. Oh, we still had time to loot the bodies though. Always got to make time to loot the bodies. <laughs> Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm that is convenient. Is this going to be like Chrono Trigger or something? Are we going to be like guided by the will of the planet? How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. I mean, it was that or get shelled by space Nazis. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. Oh my god, is there going to be only just one bed? you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> well, this here is called aloe severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. That one's real science, I think. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. <laughs> Very well, Doc. Why? I entrust my ankle's care to you. Oh, they are cute. I will admit. I'm going to make a stone here. All right, that should do made it. Made of salty, How's salty gold. A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. <laughs> So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to Yep, start there with? it is. I knew it. Not only are we having the cute, like, tending to your wound scene, but we also have character oh, development. I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. Your dad the war hero? General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. I guess those are those, like, Germanic-style mountains. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips... Where well, you get, like, a lot of forest down near the bottom or middle. It only gets cold at the top. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic, military hero. What if he had PTSD? He had his own share of worries, though. I shot my mouth off. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. Figures. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. There, there's the anime. I couldn't memoru you. But everybody <laughs> else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. Yeah, but it's not like he started it or anything. I think that always weighed. Did on he? Him. That question of what he fought the war for. That's fair then. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. I've seen, like, single father is already a rare enough trope, but also we're having the, the like, tending to the hero's wound scene is our male lead doing it to the female lead. Like, typically you have the female lead tending to the male lead. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, welcome. Sometimes you need someone else to see how much you can appreciate something in particular. Cool. The woodland snare, huh? Those left behind, huh? Oh, man. I really hope that that's like a nice cutscene and not like a victim of racism thing. They're not even in the bed. What a ripoff. Sleeping on the floor. Well, back to my nice war crimes Alicia, cottage. Someone's coming.
freeze. <laughs> He's badly wounded. Oh I'm man. Even am I going to look down that fucking path and am I am I going to oh, see Gray yeah. Fox? Welcome. Do something. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Is her maternal potential okay. gonna gonna proc? Okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's <laughs> yeah, dead guy hand. That's pretty intense. Life is what that's is what that's called. <laughs> All right, let's do this one and then cut it. A lot of cutscene. I imagine we're gonna get one more like big fight. You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. I like that Welkin is just becoming like just the boss. Like, there's this thing in a lot of JRPGs where you can still put your name in to name a guy. And, like, they were doing that as late as the PS2. I think FF10 is, like, one of the last games to do it. And so there's this very annoying thing where, like, that guy's name is Titus. Everyone knows that his name is Titus. No one in the game will ever actually say Titus because you can type in whatever you want to be his name. But his name's Titus. Like, yes, you can name Squall and Cloud anything, but... Everyone calls them Squall and Cloud because that's their names. You can name Chrono of Chrono Trigger Jim, but his name is Chrono. And like, it, le it leads to this really big problem where Final Fantasy X is also the first game in the FF series to have voice acting. And like, there's stuff in FF10 and FF10 2 where like, they refer to that guy and they will never say his name because they can't because you can type in whatever. And so his name, they'll always just call him that guy or that dude the man you know they'll just refer to him Sarah, as ob in in as now? oblique terms as they can you know like they'll say him in a very pointed way the like i hate still that requires maintenance your own brother's gone missing here and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look yeah it's because he's missing that i'm doing this we have no idea when he'll be back but Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. But yeah, I wonder if Welkin was initially supposed to be named for the by the player. There's a lot of dialogue that implies it. Maybe they're just trying to be impersonal or like informal. I, way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Yeah. You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us... <laughs> We're all toe up. You hear me? I love toe up. That's pretty good. Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Oh. Sure. <laughs> uh, he's just a softie. A softie who's a former racist. But hey, former racist is better than racist. Anytime. Um, yeah, we beat the one thing in this. I imagine that this big one, six down here, is probably going to be a big fight. Maybe seven. Or maybe five, rather. Five and six. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to cut this episode here because it's been going for the typical length of time that I like. So, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyrie Chronicles. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all have a very good day. Bye.